And for more on these developments, so with us on the broadcast this minute is Joachim Bittelik, former German ambassador to the NATO. Thanks very much for being here with us. Let me begin by asking you for your assessment of what this visit means for Putin and for the ICC, given the backdrop against which uh, this visit is taking place and the demands that have been made regarding the ICC arrest warrant. Well, it's clear from the outset that Mongolia will not execute the, the warrant. It was clear. And therefore, the more the Western media or the media speak about this non-execution, the more Putin will be the winner and the ICC and uh, Ukraine and others the losers. Because it's clear Putin is as executive heads of state of Russia responsible for war crimes committed in Ukraine. It's clear. But therefore, uh, it's clear. It was clear for me from the outset that uh, Mongolia will not execute. They have a keen interest in seeing Putin in order to discuss in detail their part in the future pipe, gas pipe, relying Russia and China. That's the key. Right. The right. What does all of this mean for the ICC's legitimacy? It is um, a, a huge question uh, with regards to uh, the execution of its arrest warrant, also vis-à-vis uh, -vis the action that has been taken. Yes, but but please take. We are talking about Mongolia. What's the role of Mongolia? Uh, within the ICC. Is it an important member state? No, it's a small member state comparable to big shots as India, as China, as uh, the Europeans or the Americans. And therefore, uh, please don't attack too much a small state uh, like Mongolia. Uh, this will be wrongly accused at the end of the day. Uh, they can't take this responsibility to detain Putin sir place. You what can't is, ask yes. this. Right. Uh, what is your assessment of uh, uh, the uh, larger impact uh, that Russia's outreach, that Putin's uh, visits have been having while the war has been going on, uh, while all of this uh, uh, accusation has also come to the forefront? Uh, his outreach and also overall his influence? Well, influence is, remains limited, it's clear. It still exists, but it remains limited. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, well, uh, the Indian Prime Minister has been in the Ukraine and in Moscow. Perhaps there is a possibility to come towards a certain negotiation to stop this war at the end of the day. Uh, or the Chinese could be helpful. Uh, but internationally, uh, Putin is not at all weakened. He is now step by step, step strengthened by uh, visits or by activities like this. All right, we're leaving it's it there. Yes, go ahead. It's not helping, let's, let's, let's call it the necessary rational and good cause of the ICC, the ICC, not at all, because war crimes remain unpunished at the end of the day and unprosecuted. And you attack always what I call smaller countries, smaller member states of the ICC, of the UN family, but the big shots at the end of the day remain unpunished. And where is this weakness of the ICC? It's not a case of a Mongolian state who is too small, let's say, uh, in order to change anything at this, at the international level. All right, uh, leaving it there. Thanks very much for joining us on the broadcast with those perspectives. As a pleasure, as always. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.